Hi there, and welcome back to Gaming Crazy. This is Mark, and today on Lara Croft Go, I'll be playing through the Maze of Spirits. So, if you remember last time on last playthrough on the Maze of Stones, uh, to complete that we fell into this area here. So, here we go. Strange, weird cave labyrinth thing going on here. Got a bit of deja vu here. There we have a switch. Things never seem as simple as they are. Just keep my eye out for little secret pot things that's hiding around. Notice last time I played and watch the playthrough when I did the edit. Uh, I've noticed I've missed quite a bit. That's the first section out of the way. We've nice and easy. Right, we've got fire. Snakes don't like that, that's good. Get stuck in there. Alright, so we've got a switch beyond the snake, so I'll say we'll push the snake on the switch. Still looking around for stuff. Oh, what am I doing? Right. So I've got to pull that down. So if I go into that lever, space down, I'm going to get killed. So let's just have a look at what we got here. Lever's obviously going to pull that down. I've noticed things are colour coordinating here. It's like yellow lever, that yellow switch, but pressure pla uh, platforms as well. I've uh, noticed that in the last playthrough. Um, so other than that, I'm going to get through there. So we've got a crack. So that's going to be a one-time deal through there, making sure that I don't come back because I'm fall through the hole. And obviously I need fire to get through to... Oh, I don't know. There's a spear here as well. And a switch. So anyway, just have a little play. Get rid of this snake. And that does... That. Right, okay. So we need a snake for the platform. And I need to get to there. So obviously... Spears for that snake, the start snakes for the platform, and obviously the one that's in the problem area is here. So we're going to use fire to get rid of him. Let's just see if that comes down. Yes, it does. And then we get rid of the snake. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I jumped for a minute there. I thought it was going to get me. Right. Okay. So that platform's got to stay low in order to kill that snake. So go around here. Let's get more fire. Still look out for stuff. Okay, what's up down there? Yay! So, as you've noticed on the bottom of here, uh, I've got six to seventeen rubies. And the reason for that is because, and you'll laugh at this, 
I've actually done the Maze of Spirits once before, and it was recording for Gaming Crazy. And for some reason, what I thought was recording wasn't. And technically speaking, it knackered up, so this is like my second time I'm through. So I'm quite looking forward to finding all the little pots I've missed as well. That's probably why you're wondering as well I can solve these puddles as quickly as I can as well. I'm just trying to remember because it was quite a few days ago. <laughs> trying to wrap my brains on what I did last time. Right. It's quite funny actually because last time I did this playthrough. Some of the puzzles, I stood there staring at them for ages, thinking, how the hell am I going to get around this? And after I'd done it, it was very s simple. It just, it's like this, for instance. It's quite a, a simple puzzle when you know how to do it. Let's say, like, say like, all of it, really. Anyway. Enough of me babbling. So anyway, the snake that wants to come to that platform there is this guy here. You need fire to get down there. But the thing is, you've got to get rid of him. And the problem, if, if you approach him here, he goes back onto that crack of that hole causes problems you can't get through here. <laughs> so the whole idea is I've got to kind of kill him, come up here, kill him, get the spear, come back up here, kill him, push him back with fire, switch switch and go straight across there. But at the same time I'm going to try and see if I can see any pots lying around that I'm missing because I missed absolutely loads last time I did this. So I'm going to get rid of him. And I'm going to get rid of him first. Still looking around seeing for stuff, can't see anything. Get rid of that. And we'll push it back as well. Right, I'm just trying to remember how I did this last time. Okay, so I need to get kill that snake before I can do anything. And this pillar is, as you can see, in a bit of a place I don't want it. Right, okay, so the problem is you've got to get across there. Hmm. Move it out the way for a minute. Oh, it's in the wrong side. It's supposed to go like right that way around. That's it. So you've got to get kind of like around the right hand side of it, so you've got to figure out how to hell to get to there. Um, <laughs> right, hang on a minute. Don't need to leave that pillow down there yet. I just realised what I've just done. Okay. Now I've copped up. Again, it's one of those. It looks simpler than what it is. It isn't. out anyway so so the problem being is if you stand on that area here it bites you and I've got to, only way you can kill him is from that side onwards I'm just trying to remember how to get the pillar across there <laughs> yeah, I think so actually. Right. No, because you're still going to get a bit on it. Right. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, I'm doing now. Right. <laughs> it is very early in the morning trying to figure this out. There we go. Right. So I've got to make a path. 
over here. So two pillars are going to come across here. And we're going to block off the corner. As you can see, I need to get across there. Not a problem. Don't ask what I'm doing, it's, it's very early in the morning. <laughs> right. I need to move that to there to push down before you can move me. It's like a giant slide puzzle. There we go. There's probably a short way doing that, but uh, it is currently 6.42 in the morning. And I'm trying to figure out where the brain is at. Oh, pot! Oh, shit, right at the top there. I noticed it. Oh, well. At least you can come back to this. This is good. Now this bit did take a bit of messing about and thinking <laughs> last time I played this. I've got to get, technically got a spider across there. Alright. So if I move to there, spider moves onto platform. No, he doesn't. Right. Oh, you got to fright the spider on there. Oh, I was only last time. Oh, I go to here. The spider backs off. Right, come over here. That knocks that pillar down. Right, what you got to do is you'll get this pillar here. Spider on top of it. Push them across. Spider on that switch, which moves that platform up. Good across with fire. Taking out the spider there. Remember, uh, remember last time doing this, it was a pain the arse. For some reason, I can't tell that pillar. Why? Oh, I can't press one button. There we go. Right, so he's getting the spider on that. As soon as he gets on, he's got to move it off out of the way because it just keeps running backs and forwards and that platform goes up and down. So that's what you have to do. Then you take the fire. Get rid of this spider. Look around for a leave. No, can't see me missing anything about it. Back over. Now this one was an interesting one to do. And all this was another messing around one. Right, so you got to get the lizard on the switch. <laughs> Which is easier said than done. Right. I remember I did this time. That's not how you do that. There we go. <laughs> Knew there was a way of doing it. Right, that's that sorts of that area out. Let's have a quick look around, see if I missed anything. No. Again, this is another one of those weird ones. You could get the, the lizard on the platform, the snake on the platform. There's a lot of mess in there. Not about that. The thing is, I've got that now, so. Right, move that in place. So we'll get the lizard to follow me. So we'll do that in a mo. Moves him back. Move him onto this. I've got 
go there. Get a lizard to follow me. Sadly, it looks simple when you know. But first time round, I was just staring at this for quite a few minutes to figure out what the hell was going on. This being another one, actually. So what you have here is you have a little platform here that sticks those out. The thing is, you don't want that to happen, and the only way of doing that is blocking it with this thing. But at the same time, you can get the lad, uh, the lizard, on the platform under the rock and you'll get the pillar over this side as well so there's a lot you have to do there's a lot so the whole idea first is to get this shifted That's the safest way to get the lizard to follow is two blocks away on spaces. Come around with this thing. And get the fire. Move that. Back him up. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I think it's when I've got that in the way. I should back onto that switch, and it's not doing it. This first. That's what ah, that's it. And then I move. <laughs> so the pillar has to be there for the bowl to go on the switch. That was it. There we go. Halfway through. Right, so this little bit here, we've got switches that fire out little like spiky spear things out the wall. This is like a demonstration of what it does. Boom. So what we need to do, obviously we've got to get that switch to get the platform up to get down there. And we have a problem with the lizard, so what we're going to do with that is we're going to get him to follow us. So we can kill him. Simple as that. Go this way, that's if we go the way, I get shot. From here, boom, it's gone. Just looking around, I think. Yeah, oh, there's something over there, I should see it. There we go, there's an extra bit. So there's been an advantage to coming back and playing this again. At least we can see things I've possibly missed. This double nose, it looks simple, but wasn't. So what I've got to do here is that pillar gets pushed down to there, but I need to get the switch. Where the switch is, and it's down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clue now. I've got one doing right. Oh I can fire that side. Boom. That's it. If I jump down the bottom, 
on that switch, I'll die. So I'm not going to stand on that switch. So I'm going to hit that to there. And that blocks that from shooting me. Have a look around. I can see oh, yeah, there's a one hiding there. Look. Still way off of getting all 17. Right. That's where you got to get the lizards to chase you again. Control the wrong direction. Seems to be a, a thing with the analog stick and the angles. I don't know why I just did that, I just walked forward. I moved that. Oh, we were out there this time. Pull that. Shift out of the way. He'll shoot himself. There we go. Get rid of him. Really, I'm trying to jog my memory about this actually. I know I don't jump down the bottom one because on the other side because I've just dropped a couple of lizards, so it's this. Fire. I think it is just a matter of letting him follow you and letting him shoot. Get shot on the in the path there. So, I know if you step the way in, he moves the unit getting shot. Right. This is definitely a lot quicker than the first time. Okay. So be careful how I do this. Anything? Nope, can't see anything. This took a couple of goes, and I'm assuming it's going to do again the same on the today. Um, again, it's another issue of what goes where. Well, oh, shit. That's what you don't do. <laughs> right. Oh, I remember now. You go here, then you go down. That's it. Come back up. Get the fire. Alright. So it's good as it would jump on that brown platform. I'll also get shot as well. See, now if I go for the spear, I'm going to get shot. So, back up. Oh, actually, one second. No, no, I was right the first time. Right. I think there's a way of killing the lizard, but I'm not going to bother. Follow me if you want. There we go. Coming through there anyway. Right. The tricky bit on here is you need that pillar to stop them from shooting. You kind of have to push it, remember rightly, down and across and around this way. So what I'm going to do to start with, because we're dead careful, if I go push that there, I'm going to get shot. So what I have to do is... I'll put a damn good thing first, what I'm doing. No, it's not doing me any favors. Oh, I can remember now. Push it around the top. That's why I was a gap. Yes, he follows me on the way around. I think 
kids. Like I said, I could be wrong. That's it. So move that down. Move that down again. No, I don't. <laughs> right. If I move to the right, they fire again. I can remember that. So I'm going to kind of reverse, back it off. Yeah, for every move you... If this is the catch on there, you've got to realise this. Once that's on there, every time I move, if one of those pressure points put put down, pads, they, they fire out the arrows, you see. So if that pillar's on that pressure pad, even though if I'm not anywhere near it, every time I move, they fire. So you've got to kind of reverse, back it up. And that is a mistake I was making last time I played this. Pushing right over the far side. And then push it there. And then push it again. So I've nearly done it. Doing really well. Right. is making me think more than the last time. Ah, so I gotta wait for the spy to shift. Right, you do actually have to come all the way back to this beginning of the stage to get that spear. But you can't do it without fire, so you have to come get fire first. That's the catch. So it's kind of a lot of bit of a, a mess around process, but it has to be done. All that spears for is for that snake. We'll get rid of the spiders. As soon as you climb up here, you lose your fire. Oh, there's a pot there. And that's the most you'll collect the uh, salamander. Ah, this took a couple of goes. <laughs> wasn't easy and I fluked it and I don't know how I did it. <laughs> right. Now I've cut it up. Right, hang on a minute. I think I have to go far left and come round the other side. So the second lizard, which is here, he has to be on the platform, if I'm correct. No, it's that one. I can't remember. I know, I, we'll figure it out anyway. Figure it out in a minute. Right. I know there's a reason why he's there. Oh, yeah. Right. Get rid of the snake. Come back. I think I might have knackered it up. I'm not sure. Don't come to me, know what's going on. Um. Oh, that's it. He's got to follow you. That was it. Because he's got to hit the pressure plate to get off that side there. There we go. 
<laughs> right, so what we've got here is a boss battle, which is going to go over a couple of stages. It's the giant serpent. Again, not easy. Things you've got to be aware of in this stage is this orange line. Because once you touch that orange line, he moves. It's as simple as that. Once on everything else, he doesn't. You'll see what I mean. It's a play. Okay. So he gets in two positions, which is that. As soon as it looks like that, his next move is going to dive at you. So you've got to get off. There we go. I've got to kind of go on the line to piss it off. So the, when you're on the other line, he kind of looks at you and goes, ah, oh, you know, I'll get you. And that's all there is to it, right. So now... Oh, that was it. Gives you enough ghosts to get across the other side. I don't know what Lara's doing there. Come on. Down. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess about one, this one. So you do it there. Come back. Full switch. There should be enough ghosts for you to shift down. Oh, no, I've knackered it. She's dead. Right, it's going to make me think. Yeah. Hell did I do last time? Luckily, you don't have to do the whole thing, it's just this bit here. I'm trying to figure out why that platform's down. Oh, hang on, I think I know what it was. Yeah, it's the after bit. So you get him out of the set, bring it down. That. No, it's the same thing, what am I doing? I can't even explain why that changed and different. I know it's obviously my go, there go, that kind of thing. If you look at the pattern I just did there, that's how it's done. <laughs> Simple as that. So we've got to bring this blade up. Here's the fun bit. Oh shit, I've just killed myself. Right, we've got to do it again anyway to figure out how what I just did. Right, so here we go. So what happened here was last time. Let's get the snake out of the way first. Yeah. Right, so, snake's gone. I've um, got enough time now to get across there. So he should be at this point. The platform's up, snake's gone. He should have enough time. So what I've got to do is get the platform up and avoid getting chopped up this time. So when the blades cross, I'm going to drop through the middle. So you go that way. So I move back, blade comes back, snake goes on it. Back to the top of the middle. And then drop through the hole where the snake came out. That's this next bit. So 
So first you gotta move them snakes out of the way with. And kill that snake. Remember rightly, I think use the giant serpent to kill the snakes. Right, there's a certain way of doing this, and it took a few attempts, so I'm not expecting to do this first time. Oh, I can't remember what it's for, let's have a look. That's it, the platform. you've got to do is that crack on the floor is avoid touching it because you need to drop down there from the top well it's going to start with the right way straight up the top jump to there and come back and forward on that one Is that? Now we go. <clears throat> so closing towards the end now. It's going to be hot looking down these bits here. Again, I can't remember how to do this. I'm going to try and figure it out. Ah, that was it. This is what I need. I need that stone pillar over there. So, yes. Is there a lizard to follow me around? Around the back. Get rid of him. Around there. Fills that bit there. Right, I'm trying to think what's the right way of doing this. <laughs> so move up the blue way, that's the way, right way of doing it. Right. Should have enough. Right, yeah. Right, so next bit. And I was wondering how the hell I did this last time was he's got to move a pillar on to the switch as you pull it and it drops down. And I think last time I did this I said well it didn't matter which one I was. I just picked a random one. Just trying to remember which one it was now. So you know, <clears throat> it's not the yellow one obviously. Because I'll drop out of the way. The orange one's too close to the top. I think I used the blue one last time. So, I'm going to pull this pillar in front of this pillar here. I'm also going to drop the cup, dive up. Forget to be. Just gives me enough time to get this to this. So, I'm going to pull up a set of snake. <laughs> I think it was actually. I'll try again. Mm, I can think. Yeah, I think it's the orange one. Oh, it's the 
think it was just a lucky guess last time. We were. I've got to get that lizard on that platform. What was that thing down here? There we go. Right, so I've got that platform there. Careful I do this now. Good. I've knackered it. Do you mind which way I went on there? Right, I know where I went wrong. It's to do with that crap oh, on the right hand side. That is your way down. do that so next time you touch it you drop on the platform below so we we'll go on here now move down here hit the lever shoot the snow right make sure that you hit the lever back because as you go up the spikes keep shooting out the wall so that is your safe way out Then we've got the final bit. Spear and throw the snake. Let's just get out.
So we've got the Atlas of Beyond. And that concludes the Maze of Spirits. So that's it for today on Laura Croft Go. That's the Maze of Spirits completed. Our next part is the Escape. So look out for that coming very soon to Gaming Crazy. If you've not subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe because I say it's more of this coming and also tons of other videos coming to the channel as well. For those who have subscribed, thank you very much for your support. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you next time on Gaming Crazy. Thank you very much.